Okay, so as you guys know, I've been dealing with an ab injury. So last week I went in and did squats. I did a single with 605 pounds beltless, but today I need to come and figure out if I can use a belt. So I'm using my belt. I felt a little, it's it's pretty, it's been going pretty good so far. Now I have 600 pounds on the bar. I'm gonna try to do a set of two. I might not even get a set of one in, but we're gonna see how it feels with a belt because I need to see if I can use a belt or not. So first set, set of two with 600 pounds. Let's see what's up. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. I like kind of surprised myself a little bit. Not really. Like it felt like solid reps, 600 pounds with a belt. I mean, like it's just because I have to put a little bit lower and I can't utilize the full, like the full abilities of the belt, just because I can't get as much pressure as I normally could. But yeah, 600 pounds for doubles. I'm gonna go ahead and get another set. I feel like I was kind of high on the second rep, so I really want to kind of get the second set out of the way and bury two reps with good form and good depth. So, um, yeah, yeah, feels good. Feels good. Feels good to come in. It feels good to come in here and hit 600 pounds for two reps because I hit it. I hit 605 for one rep, like on Friday, and that wasn't acceptable in terms of the program that I had laid out because I had it for sets of two. So, redeeming myself today. Let's go. Get up, Russell. Get up. Today is terrible. But anyways, I was able to hit two sets of two with 600 pounds. Uh, that's a PR. That's a PR, so that's a good thing. Now we're moving on to bench, close grip bench. Time to work. But anyways, like going back to the squats, like it felt, it felt all right. Like of course there's pressure on my abs, like it's a little bit uncomfortable. But at this point, it's kind of like a pain tolerance type of thing. It's like just grit your teeth and do the reps, man. Like it, it hurts. It's uncomfortable. But it's doable. That last rep was a like a huge grinder. But I just told myself like get it done. It's gonna it's gonna be a little bit painful, but you're gonna come up and you're gonna be happy that you did it because you're able to complete it. So it's a good thing. So let's begin benching now. Uh, actually put on 275 pounds because 225 pounds is a little bit too light. Okay, so wrapped up the benching, wrapped up the squats, uh, wrapped up cardio as well. I was actually thinking about doing some deadlifts today, but I just told myself, you know, maybe do it tomorrow just because my ab is kind of like fatigued from doing the squats already. Like why even go even further and fatigue even more and possibly risk re-injuring my ab again by doing some more deadlifts. So I'm just gonna leave that to another day to where I feel a lot more fresh. So that's gonna do it for today's workout, man. Pretty solid, pretty solid.
we are here at the grocery store i'm here to pick up some more water because there's currently no water at the apartment right now and right now i'm water loading so that means i'm drinking a lot of water and so i'm gonna slowly taper off my water and that's gonna allow me to lose weight last time i did this i lost about i remember i was like 188 like two days out or one day out and then i dropped down to like 181 183 so i'm pretty good at water loading and losing weight and yeah need to get a lot a lot a lot of a lot of water I need to buy a lot of water for this water load i'm currently sitting like around 190 so I'm gonna have to cut off seven to eight pounds of water hopefully it can be done not hopefully it's gonna be done I need to wake up man it's, it's early in the morning by the way that's why i'm kind of like it's not even early it's actually nine o'clock <laughs> but that's why i'm kind of like sleepy looking a little bit okay let's uh let's get inside I was actually planning to buy 10 jugs of water, but I started thinking, I'm like, yo, I still gotta carry all this up the stairs and into the elevator and into my crib. So I was just like, man, I'm gonna stick with, I'm gonna stick with six for right now. Cause that's more manageable. But yeah, if I need more water, I'm just gonna come back and get some more. Yo, man, Luke Cage goes hard. Luke Cage goes so hard. So right now, I just finished up, you know, not finished up, but I'm getting to the ending process of making these shoes. I'm gonna ship them out uh, tomorrow. Should finish, should finish by tomorrow. I got some emails to finish up tonight, making some programs as well. But yeah, Luke Cage, man, super good. I was kind of iffy about Luke Cage when I first started. I was like, man, this, it's not what I was thinking it was going to be. It was moving kind of slow. And as the story started progressing, I'm like, damn, the show's good. And like, I have myself like, I mean, like, of course you could binge watch the first season because they put the whole season up, but I'm just like, I'm like, what happens next? Like, I gotta figure out what happens next. So I've been watching, I've been binge watching Luke Cage on Netflix. You guys need to check it out, man. I, I think it's really cool how they have an all black cast. Um, the soundtrack is really dope. It's like a lot of Wu-Tang. Um, I, I think, I think, uh, man, I forgot who they had as like one of the people that are choosing the music. But yeah, it's, I'm like already in my workout clothes because I'm about to go work out. It's kind of like around eight o'clock at night. That's like when I'm deciding to work out. But already down a gallon of water. I'm gonna finish probably like maybe halfway for dinner whenever I get back and cook. But yeah, it's time to make a pre-workout meal. Come on, come on, get off. Lately for a pre-workout snack, I've been having one banana. Don't, don't tell my brother, okay? Cause it's like, it's his bananas and he buys them and he gets kind of irritated when I take the banana and use it, but keep it on the, keep it on the DL. I don't think he watches my videos, so we're in, we're in the clear. And I've been mixing the banana with some speculose cookie spread, which tastes amazing. Okay, I have to stop myself every single time I'm eating one of this because I tend to kind of like get some more scoops than I have to get. Cause I kind of like, I kind of know what two tablespoons look like. So, I mean, I get maybe like two servings, two to three servings, two to two and a half servings, but it tastes so good. I just want to eat the whole thing. I just, sometimes I can't help myself. But anyways, that's my pre-workout snack. Once again, it's not too filling, so it's not gonna leave like, it's not gonna leave me full for my workout. Today, we're going to the gym to work out back and biceps. Nothing to do with powerlifting today. It's an off day for my powerlifting program. 
programming. So the days in between that I do not do powerlifting, I do straight up bodybuilding. So today is back and biceps. We're gonna get in there and kill it. Also got my pre-workout. Gonna take some PE Science High Volume. What the heck is this? Yeah, I'm gonna take some PE Science High Volume pre-workout. Once again, I don't need too many stimulants in order to have a good workout. So that's gonna help me not stay up tonight because it doesn't have any stimulants inside of it. So yeah, got this, you know, pre-workout mash. I like to mash up the banana and the speculose cookie spray because it, it makes kind of like a little, makes a little bit of mash and you kind of just eat it like this. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Okay guys, like I said earlier, today is an off day for my powerlifting program. So basically what that means is I'm coming in and I'm doing a straight bodybuilding workout. Now today was back and bicep day, so I took a different approach to today's workout. Usually I could do rows with 130 pounds, 145 pounds, upwards to 150 pounds. But as you guys can see, I have 60 pounds in my hand and I'm doing slow rolls, slow and controlled. And that makes a huge, huge difference. This allows me to get a full stretch really uh really focused on activating my lats and allowing myself to get a really really good pull and you can't really tell because it's a little bit sped up but i'm kind of holding it at the top and allowing the muscle to squeeze and contract and hold it to in a really tight position and sometimes that's what you need to do for back sometimes you're not going to be able to feel um i see a lot of people complain about not being able to feel a back workout and sometimes you just need to lighten up the weight Next, we move on to some lat pull downs. Now, I'm not doing a normal lat pull down. I'm doing a lat pull down and then I'm stopping uh, a quarter of the way back up into the rep. And that shows that I have complete control over the weight. I'm not swinging the weight, I'm not doing anything like that. But when I stop at a quarter way uh, up to the starting position, it shows I have complete control. So, next, we move on to some machine high rows. I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure. It's like hamstring high rows or something like that. But um, yeah, once again, guys, slow and controlled, lightweight and making sure we're getting a good contraction out of the muscles. Next, we moved on to some cable pullovers. I tried doing the dumbbell pullovers, but it was too uncomfortable on my abs. So we did the cable pullovers. And um, as you guys can see, I'm allowing the cable to kind of go over to the top of my head to allow a full stretch out of my lats. And I'm bringing it back down. Moving on to biceps, the first workout we did was some alternating dumbbell curls. And I said we because I was working out with uh, someone that watched the channel and he really pushed me today. I didn't feel like coming into the gym to work out, but I came in and he pushed me and he said, we need more energy. So it just automatically made me want to go harder. So yeah, we did some alternating dumbbell curls for biceps. We also did some preacher curls, close grip, to work more of the outside head of the biceps. Looking back on the workout, we actually didn't do too many exercises, but what we did was we had a lot of sets and we had a lot of reps. I did about maybe four sets and each set was kind of more into failure. It wasn't really anything counted. But anyways, we finished up with some seated dumbbell curls. That's gonna do it for this commentary. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Man, I ended up having a really, really good workout. And it's like, I feel like I'm saying that a lot more lately, just because you know what I'm saying? It's that rebound effect, man. Coming off a bodybuilding show and then having to kind of get back into things. It's just, I just haven't been feeling motivated to go to the gym lately. But we have the post-workout meal right here. Let me show you guys this beautiful meal. So what it is, it's just chicken with Cajun seasoning and mixed vegetables. I think it's uh, corn, carrots, green beans. I think that's it, actually. And then we got about 60 grams of potatoes worth in there. So that's gonna be my final meal of the day. Also got the water right here. I'm gonna drink probably like maybe to this half edge, so maybe half a gallon. And that'll bring out my water intake to a gallon and a half. Once again, I got a water load. Gotta drink a lot of water. I might drink about two gallons tomorrow. And gradually, gradually increase the water that I'm drinking. And then as I get closer to competition, I'm gonna stop drinking too, as, as much water and then I'm gonna lose weight. So yeah, that's basically the process. Gotta, gotta make sure I'm able to weigh in 183 pounds. And this is the way I'm gonna do it. Gotta eat healthy, gotta eat that good stuff, man. Gotta get the veggies in, chicken in. It's not as much protein, I mean, not as much carbs. <laughs> Just gonna enjoy this meal and then answer some more emails. Um, also gotta write out some more programming. Uh, yeah, I gotta write some more programming. If you guys want your own programming, I do offer that. I do online programming, so workout plans. So if you guys email russwool at gmail.com, you can get your own programming. You can get your own personal strength power building program for me. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Eat this food, watch a little Luke Cage, and work into the night. This video is coming to an end, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm back on track. My abs are 
kind of just a pain tolerance issue at this point. Not too much of an issue. Just gonna have to grind through it and try my best. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, if you like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Get better today. I'm out.